Hello everyone, I've been meaning to put together a video highlighting um, my weekly comic book haul and go further into comic book discussions, delving into my collection, but first uh, we're going to start with um, the new releases from this week, uh, January uh, 12th. Um, and to top it off, I'm going to start with Odin's Eye, which didn't necessarily come out um, this Wednesday, but uh, the final issue, uh, which is issue 5, uh, came out uh, on the 12th, and uh, I had not picked up the series at all, so I decided to start with issue 1 and see where to go from there. So it's called Odin's Eye. This one's done by Bad Idea Comics. Um, they are a nice uh, small-time comic book uh, company. We'll talk a little more about them another time. <clears throat> but uh, this one was neat. Um, this girl becomes cursed or gifted with the berserk uh, from uh, Odin himself. And basically the point of the story she uh, joins a band of um, warriors seeking for uh, Odin's lost eye and uh, the sacrifice that she needs to give in order to uh, fulfill her destiny. Uh, I'd say give it a shot, uh, especially if you're into uh, Norse mythology or any kind of warrior based things. I'm a huge uh, Conan fan, which um, in other videos I'll rant more about later. But yeah, that was neat. <clears throat> uh, next up is The Scorched, part of the ever-expanding uh, Spawn universe that Todd McFarlane has uh, been doing. Uh, this is the first issue of The Scorched, um, and I guess the third installation in the expanded universe after Gunslinger Spawn and King Spawn. But this one highlights uh, Lady Spawn, uh, Gunslinger Spawn, and Plague Spawn. Uh, this one I have yet to read. I need to catch up with Gunslinger first. Um, but I'm a sucker for expanded universes, and I absolutely love Spawn. Um, anything that involves Spawn I think is cool. I'm a big Venom fan, and, you know, I don't care what the debate uh, some of you have, but Spawn is just uh, Venom with um, more flair. Not knocking out on him, but anyway, moving on. <clears throat> this next one uh, comes out from Image Comics. We all know and love Image. You know, speaking of Spawn, uh, this one is called Rain, which is an adaptation of a prose done by Joe Hill, my favorite um, author. And so I'm a little partial to any of his stuff. Uh, but this was really cool. Never read uh, Rain before, and um, the comic book adaptation was neat. Uh, this is the uh, cover B. Um, let's see, that's a little bonus uh, story that this one came with. Uh, Rain was neat. Um, I won't go too far into it because, um, the ending of it, yeah, um, it's a neat series. I'm interested to see where it's going to go. Um, I believe it's only three issues, so pick up Rain number one, uh, give it a shot, see what you think, and, you know, there's just two more following that up, so not too much to wait. Uh, next up is part of the current Marvel uh, event going on, Devil's Reign. Uh, this one's the uh, Superior Four. Now, I haven't been uh, too into Devil's Reign. Uh, these days, I'm trying to stick out of some of the over-expanding Marvel events because they can be a little uh, cumbersome. But uh, I am a big fan of Dr. Octopus. Uh, Otto Octavius is... Spider-Man's number one foe, hands down. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's so many top-tier villains that he fights, and out of all of them, I, I've always thought uh, Octopus was his number one deadliest. And this one's neat. Uh, so we all know and love Spider-Verse, uh, whether from the comics or the Miles Morales movie. But um, this uh, kind of takes a twist to that. So I like to call it the Octoverse where um, the Superior Four is Dr. Octopus as we know him, and Otto Octavius, who is the Hulk, and Otto, who is a Ghost Rider, and one who is uh, Wolverine. And together, they're trying to uh, take over the multiverse. Uh, see, there's a Otto Spider-Man, which is kind of funny, since Otto becomes Spider-Man at some point. Um, 
Let me find a good uh, image with all four of them. And yeah, they're there. Hulk with his four limbs. Ghost Rider with the extra blades or um, chains and um, the extra blades on Wolvie here. Uh, but yeah, the four of them band together and they're trying to highlight their high lander, sorry, their way into the multiverse by stealing the intelligence of all the other autos. <clears throat> this next one comes from Boom Studios, which is a fun comic book um, company. Um, you know, they do uh, some great favorites like Power Rangers. Uh, and one of my number one favorite series is Something's Killing the Children. Now this is a spin-off series, The House of Slaughter. Uh, it's issue two. Uh, it's kind of a um, prequel to Something's Killing the Children. It flushes out the um, the Order of St. George uh, a little more, which is a um, organization that hunts down and kills monsters, or at least uh, contains the idea of monsters. So speaking of monsters, we're moving on to uh, Volt's new issue, We Ride Titans. Now this one's really neat. I uh, First of all, let's just appreciate this cover. It's phenomenal. Like you got the uh, kaiju and a mech in the back fighting and this character just flipping them off. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, this is something like Pacific Rim or, you know, any of you that like kaiju or big mechs um, definitely check this out um, seems to be there is um, I guess there are certain families that it's in their ancestry to um, use these mechs to defend their cities against kaiju and um, it starts off with uh, this one man who uh, f I guess he takes out the kaiju but he you know kind of fails just like a whole lot of wreckage you and um, later on, uh, his mother reaches out to the main characters, um, who is uh, the sister of this uh, kaiju, or sorry, this uh, mech user, and um, wants her to take over for him while the uh, brother is getting back on his feet. Um, so we'll see what that turns into. All right, I highly recommend anything by AWA Upshot. They are a newer publishing company. They started literally at the uh, beginning of the pandemic. Um, I'll have another video specifically for their um, debut. Uh, but one of their things to debut in uh, 2020 was a series called Hotel. I absolutely loved Hotel. That was probably my most favorite of the four that they launched. Um, now this is volume two, which, uh, last month just started with issue one, this is issue two. Uh, Hotel is really cool, it's a, um, anthology horror series, which are kind of my favorite type of, um, stories to read. Um, and this takes place in a hotel that, um, each room is a different story, and, uh, they all seem to, uh, connect in some way. Definitely give it a shot. Uh, issue two was especially neat. All right, uh, Animal Castle. Now, this one's another one that didn't necessarily come out on the 12th. Um, but uh, this issue in particular did come out this Wednesday. It's a uh, second printing. Uh, so it's been uh, a bit since the first printing came out. Um, this is called Animal Castle. It's uh, really neat. It's... Uh, if anyone's a um, fan of Orwell or um, enjoys Animal Farm, uh, definitely try this one out. So I was really uh, intrigued by this first issue. Uh, and it's yeah, just like Animal Farm in a way where um, it takes place in this uh, society built by animals um, within this castle. And um, unlike Animal Farm, this isn't starting from scratch. We, we start the story uh, heads on like, we're already in the midst of this um, society, you know. I'll show like you know they already have all their things going. There's already the corruption that's going on, and uh, we follow uh, this one cat, Miss B, who um, is the only cat on the uh, or in the castle. And um, you know, I don't want to explain too much, but 
The citizens are definitely disgruntled with uh, their president, uh, quote unquote, and um, yeah, it's uh, not looking too good for the little guys, but we'll see what happens in the up and coming ones. Uh, here's another one by AWA Upshot. Uh, speaking of, this one is called Knighted. Uh, it's issue three. Um, Knighted is really cool. I have yet to read any of the superhero based uh, stories from AWA. I need to catch up on one of their um, earlier uh, series called The Resistance. Again, uh, in AWA's uh, own video, I'll talk about Resistance, but they set up the groundwork for an expanded universe of all these superheroes and whatnot. Uh, but in Knighted, um, they're the um, group of people who show uh, superhuman abilities and there's some humans who are enhanced by technology or machinery and uh, they're like a gang. They specifically seek out these um, meta-humans to, um, to kill them and oppress them. Uh, and in this city, at least, there is one superhero named the Knight who isn't exactly what he seems. And, you know, this is issue three, so we're further into it. Um, the, I don't know, if you guys are a fan of uh, Kick-Ass, uh, definitely check it out. It's something like that. There's just the one superhero. And it's kind of like Kick-Ass meets the Santa Claus, if you've ever seen that with Tim Allen. Um, so the main character accidentally um, kills the knight and um, he re replaces him as the new uh, superhero because the mantle is the costume and not the person. So uh, definitely check this out. It's been really neat. Um, but yeah, it's just a uh, crime investigator who doesn't get um, the recognition that he deserves from anyone in his life and now he's a crime fighter. Moving on uh, to King of Spies by Mark Miller. You know, speaking of Kick-Ass, uh, Mark Miller is the beautiful mind behind uh, the series of Kick-Ass. This is issue two of King of Spies. Uh, essentially, it's um, John uh, Wick meets uh, James Bond. So it's a uh, the spy assassin who um, finds out that he's terminally ill. He has six months to live, and he's going to use that time to better his life by or better in life in general by getting rid of all the bad guys so uh it's really cool they um if you like um spy organizations they have nice little nods uh here and there between this issue and the last uh and the last one of what their organization is like definitely check this out um this one is also done by image can't go wrong with them now last but not least um is Amazing Spider-Man. Now, you won't see this too often in my videos. Uh, I will rant about that in another video of how I don't read uh, ASM anymore. But um, this is part of the current Beyond event. I don't know if any of you have been keeping up with that. But literally for the last month or so, uh, Amazing Spider-Man has been coming out every single week with uh, Beyond. Leading up to something bigger. And I specifically grabbed this one because um, if uh, you don't know me, I am a huge fan of Peach Momoko. And uh, Peach Momoko is a Japanese uh, cover artist, mostly. Um, she is generally found in Marvel, but you can see her stuff ranging between DC and Image Comics and um, you know just all over the place. Uh, I always find her stuff in Marvel. And... Um, so anytime I find any of her uh, variant covers coming out, I automatically get them. Now this is a nice homage cover to um, the late and great uh, Jack Kirby. Um, and she even signed underneath her name there, which I saw uh, after Jack Kirby. I thought that was super cute. Um, most homage covers don't really do that. But, uh, you know, this is a throwback to the first appearance of Spider-Man in Amazing Fantasy XV. Which, um, I think, uh, you know, a little, uh, updated and Japanese twist there. But yeah, looks pretty good. And there's the original, uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 where the cover takes its idea from. And, uh, speaking of Peach Momoko, 
I uh, was at the comic shop on Thursday, uh, Third Eye Comics, my specific store I go to, and I saw that they have this uh, Demon Days uh, short box. See, it has the cover there from um, the latest issue, Demon Days Rising Storm. Now, this is Peach Momoko's, like, comic. She, you always see her doing covers, but Demon Days is specifically, like, her own series. Uh, she writes it, she does the drawings, and it's a really cool take on um, classic Marvel characters and putting them in something of a traditional Japanese folklore story. So, and I now have a specific cover, or a box here, for my favorite girl, Peach Momoko. And, yeah, this new uh, homage cover is just going to go straight there. Again, I'll make another video uh, highlighting uh, her great stuff. Uh, this past year, 2021, she was nominated and won the uh, Eisner Award for Best Cover Artist. So, I'll definitely have a video that's uh, all for her. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening to me ramble around. Um, hopefully I'll be putting up another video soon and uh, looking forward to doing this again. Y'all have a nice day. Uh, keep on reading. Bye-bye.